I want folks in other states to look at us and think, I wish I lived in Massachusetts. I know we can do it. We just need leadership. It won't be easy, and I'll sure make my share of mistakes, but I'll work very hard to be a governor you can be proud of. That, of course, was Mitt Romney back in 2002 when he was running for governor of Massachusetts. As you can see in that commercial, Mr. Romney promised to make his fair share of mistakes while in office, and he managed to deliver on that promise, at least according to the people who live in that state. Mayor Joseph Kurt Antoni of Somerville, Massachusetts, is speaking out about Romney's record in office, and we're delighted to say he joins us now. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Martin. Thanks for having me well, back on the show. Well, it's great to have you and your wonderful accent. We just saw Mitt Romney in that ad. He certainly gives the impression of being very active. He's serving sausage, recycling cardboard boxes. But is that the way people <laughs> remember him in Massachusetts today? He gives me more than an impression. He gives me the chills when I hear that ad. No, he, he failed miserably in the promises he made in 2002, which are the same promises he's making here today. He promised to grow the economy by creating jobs, to reduce the size of government and cut government spending, and to reduce the debt. And, you know, we ranked 47 from 36 to 47th in the country in, uh, in growth, in, our, in job growth. Uh, debt increased 16.4%. He raised, he increased the size of government by over 6% and more than 220,000 residents left the Commonwealth while he was governor. If I were to describe him in your words, uh, Martin, to take your accent, he was a titular governor who did nothing <laughs> for the economy in Massachusetts. That's very sweet of you to use an English accent. Mitt Romney talks all the time, as you know, about how terrible government is. He wants to shrink the size of government and all that. And yet you say that the Massachusetts state government was actually seventh in the nation in terms of how big it grew under Mitt Romney. It was 47th. Uh, it, well, seventh in the nation grew. The size yes. of government grew. Yes, the yeah. 47th grew, was we the were 47th impo in economic growth. Right. Right. He 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 added more than 5,000 government jobs uh, while he was governor. Uh, so it's a bit ironic. Again, again, I'm not surprised it's Mitt Romney, the governor, has a way with broken promises. The same message from 2002. That same smokescreen. He's puffing around the country right now. Mayor, final question to you. If Mitt Romney is really from Massachusetts, why doesn't he have an accent like yours? <laughs> well, it's funny because I hear Governor Romney speak, and he talks about uh, being the... He doesn't speak of being the governor of Massachusetts, just for, that he's from Massachusetts. Right. So I'm a bit confused. Indeed. I think he has to realize that people are going to look at his record, yes. and we should stick to the facts. And uh, you know what? He's, his policies are the same type of policies that drove this, drove this economy to our knees in 2008. What we need are pragmatic, smart, long-term solutions and investments Meh. that President Obama has made in Massachusetts. A governor developed. Patrick, today Massachusetts unemployment rate is 5.3 percent. The city of Somerville's 3.9 because of the very investments in infrastructure, education, and long-term critical Indeed. Uh, Mayor innovation Joseph, and thinking that we need. Mayor Joseph Codantoni, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you, Martin.